What I'd like to do in this video is add some insulation to our duct. There's a couple different types of insulations we can add, and also I'd like to add some linings. So to get started, I'm going to go down to Level 1, Callout 1. Now I'm going to come in here and pick on this ductwork. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this piece of duct, and I'm going to hit my Tab button once, and I'm going to select it. Now what I'm going to do is over here I have a Duct Insulation button. Yours might be a little different based on your resolution, but I'm going to click on Add Insulation. There's two different types of insulations I can do. I can do a duct wrap, or I can do a rigid fiber board. I'm going to grab my rigid fiber board, because this is the stuff that we really need to clash against when we're doing construction. I want to take a look at what my rigid fiber board actually is, so I'm going to click on Edit Type. There's not a lot to it. We can add a type mark. But the material, I want to click into Insulation Rigid Fiber Board. Now I want to click on my Builder button right here. And this is going to bring us into our Material Browser. Now we have a bunch of different types of insulation we can use. I'm going to keep it on Insulation Rigid Fiber Board, but we'll see now that our cut pattern is going to be a diagonal crosshatch. Go to our Appearance. It's just a basic gray color. I'm going to go back to Graphics. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to hit OK here. Now for my thickness, I'm going to make this 50 millimeters. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. And it puts it on there all the way back to my VAV. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this duct, hold down my Control key. I'm going to select my Flex duct. I'm going to actually select my duct accessory. I'm going to select my duct tap. I'm going to click on Add Insulation to this. I'm going to keep the same thing, thickness 50 millimeter. Click OK. If we hover over the flex duct, it's still there, but it kind of just isolates it. So if I go to a 3D view, and if I zoom in, it's still actually there, but it's hard to regenerate it in plan. It will plot correctly. I'm going to go back to level one, call out one. Now I'm going to hover over this duct. I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click add insulation. This time I'm going to go back to duct wrap. And my thickness will be 25 mil. I'm going to click OK. And it wraps that. It's not as pronounced, but if we click on our Thin Lines button, we'll see that it's wrapping it. Uncheck Thin Lines. Let's come back to this piece of duct. I'm going to select it. And notice that I can edit my insulation or remove my insulation. So I'm going to click on Edit Insulation. And over here it says Duct Insulation Rigid Fiberboard. So when I select my duct, I can switch my properties over to my duct insulation. So now I can just scroll down. I can change my thickness. I can click on Edit Type. And I can change my material here. I'm going to hit Cancel. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. I'm going to select my duct again. Now I'm going to add a lining to it. Insulation Type. I have either textile or fiberglass board. Generally, I'll stick with fiberglass board. I'll keep my thickness at 25 millimeter. Click OK. Hit Escape a couple times and it's added a lining. So I'm gonna click on my Thin Lines button just to show how that looks. So now it's giving me my hidden line, my actual duct, and my thick duct insulation. So that's how you add duct insulation.